Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. And this technique is awesome. Okay, um, I am really excited about this technique and I used two wonderful stamp sets here to try it out and okay. oh yes this was sitting right there in my craft room doesn't that look good mm -hmm. not even broken into you have to have treats don't you so I picked out forever floral set and I see that light thing happening but I know how to remedy it because on the frugal crafter Lindsay hey Lindsay I know you're watching my videos <laughs> Sure. But anyway, honestly, she did watch my blog and she helped me out so much. I mean, it's unbelievable. The woman's like crazy, crazy busy and does tutorials like every day. Uh, I just love watching her videos. So, hey, Lindsay, um, you are awesome. Uh, so this technique I learned from her and I thought it was great. So. Let's get back to it. Forever Florals and the Swallowtail. I thought using this technique is going to be awesome with those. Now, here's the key. Everybody has crayons hanging around, right? I did have crayons because I do a lot of the mixed media and I like to put the crayons on the top of my canvas and then put the heat gun on them and let the let them melt down onto the canvas or you can put your clipboard, take your clipboard and put a piece on there and melt, I like to melt the top down with different um, Crayola crayons and Crayola, Lindsay said worked the best. So obviously I did a clean up in my craft room and where my, I had a huge thing of crayons and I couldn't find them. So my granddaughter and I took a trip to Walmart and bought these ones with the Crayolas with the sharpener in the back and they were reasonable $4.64 but this was I could not wait to break into these to do this technique. And Why I didn't think of this to do it on actual images is beyond me. But Lindsay did, and hey, that's okay. My grass is getting cut. Can you hear that? Um, so I bought these Crayola Fun Effects Twistables. Now, Lindsay had the Twistables, but I don't know if she had these ones. Look at the, they have four colors in one. Let me get that right up there. Can you see that? And then the neon. I mean, on this butterfly, it's going to be awesome. So let's get at her. I already had this brand new, because I shop thrift stores, and I had this brand new, um, never used, heating for your tea or your coffee, a heat plate. And it's a real nice one. It has the click-on thing here, and it was all wrapped up in my drawer. And I always, you know, take my tea, and I run downstairs 500 times to put it in the microwave when this was sitting in my drawer from a thrift store adventure. So I turned it on. Now you want to get your card base ready. This is all Stampin' Up! products. And I had done, I had, this is in Copics. Right, uh, I'm sorry, Blendabilities. I was using the Blendabilities on this one. I use Copics as well, but the I wanted to try the Blendabilities and I'm going to do a video to show you some Blendability techniques. So this match seemed to be a nice match for me and um, rich razzleberry card base so we can work on that and then on the butterflies I thought this would be a nice mix as a base in the greens yellows this beautiful turquoise we will see so I have a card base I stamped this with Versamark first I put my uh, embossing powder or my embossing buddy this is the powder. It smells wonderful. This is by EK Success. And I just wiped it over and, and I prepped it for once. Versamark, you want to take your Versamark. And I embossed it with black embossing powder. And it, I use super fine embossing powder. Look at that image from Stampin' Up! I love it. And then the flowers, I did it in the Melon Mambo embossing powder. It, 
it came out beautifully. And then um, I used my stack stitch die and we are going to use that because I thought floral and this. So let's get at it. You're going to absolutely get your crayons out when you see this, hopefully. <laughs> when Lindsay did it, it was scrumptious delicious. But when I do it, I don't know. We will see. So this is what I wanted to break into with, just look at those, not through the plastic. Aren't they awesome? So let's get at her. Now, hmm. So you're going to want to warm up. For some reason, I'm just seeing, I think, just quickly, I did not do the, um, I keep seeing this powder coming out. I don't think that the top part of this, okay, let's just stop right there. Um, let me grab just an envelope here and some, but I don't think that this was heat set at the top. So let's just do it. That's better. There we go. I'll heat that up while I put this back. Okay. I want to just show you here. I'll show you after I get this heat set. It's nice and hot. Shouldn't take long. Do it in the camera. Yeah, I don't think I set this side. Isn't that funny? Okay, that's good. Okay, so what I did. Look at this. Let me just show you, anybody that follows me. I bought, I took it out. I have my new mat. Woo! Now, Lindsay told me, she emailed me and she said, Carol, you need to have a gray tone down and then you won't get those um, marks of light. So I have to buy something gray. But I just wanted to see something here. So I set my new one out. And then I put my old one underneath. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in quarters so that when I'm doing something, I'm just going to set the old mat because I don't want to wreck that. And then I bought a brand new, the same cutting mat because I'm used to this one. But I have a nice new one because my other one was, oh, you know, when you cut into it and you have all those cuts and then it leaks through with ink, it doesn't look sweet. So I'm all set up with this nice new um, setting on my... So on uh, my table. So Lindsay said if you have white or gray down, your lighting will not beam that heavy stuff on it. So I list I'm gonna I'm gonna get something gray on there. Just couldn't find anything yesterday. So let's get our heat um, coffee mug heater upper thing. And let's get started. So, I did this with the pink because I thought I would do it in the pink tones. Um, so, let's put this down. Now you're going to want to get your tweezers because anything hot obviously will be hot on your hands. So let me find that always where it always is. Okay, so you want to take your... Let me grab this for a second. Make sure it's nice and clean and we'll start right there. So, I'm going to poke this in here for now. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this because it's just so awesome. Right like that. There we are. Now let's warm that up and I'm starting out with this beautiful, doesn't have a color on it, but it's pink. So let's melt down the center. It has to be a little, it's starting to melt, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that on the plate just with that metal on there just to get it. Just for a second. Then we can gab for a minute 
I can't believe that this is not... Just a second. I'm gonna heat this up a bit, my butterfly, while that's getting hot. this in a hurry, as you can tell. Okay, I just saw a spot. All right, so this looks like it should be hot, and let's get those crayons on it. Wonderful, so I'm just going to set it down, and there it goes. Oh my, beautiful. So that's pink. Then I'm going to come out with this little bit of melted orange. Just leave it there till it melts. Now I use the 120 pound cardstock, but I think this would be nice. There it goes melting. Loving it. And I love the embossing powder on there because it separates. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, then you can go back in and melt some of your pink here. Bring it out. There's a flower. Then I'm going to take some yellow and try this yellow green. You see that yellow green together? And I'm going to start doing just the. Pe oh, hello! Thank you, Lindsay. Oh, you have to get these. Wait till I show you a close-up of this. Turn your crayon. Okay, I have to see down in there a little bit more. I'm just coming out because I'm gonna add. This gives you three-dimensional image right from the get-go. Let me just pinch this and do a little bit of a close-up here. Look at that. Oh, you have to go get these crayons. They were only $3 for 24 of these awesomely awesomeness. Let's try this yellow. And I think these are metallic, if I'm right. So, set it down. Let it warm up. There it goes. There. I just want to do the tops of these. And it is melting beautifully. Look at that. I mean, it just it just glides like butter. It's just like doing art with butter. Oh, I can see all kinds of images. Balloons would be absolutely... Oh, look at that. Look at that shimmer. Check these out. That's these. You have to go get them. Fun effects. Right there. Crayola. Wonderful. Then on the ends, I am going to add some bright, I'm going to mix some bright, bright pink. Let the crayon just sit for a second and melt. There we are. Just, oh, there we go. It's had enough heat. I'd be careful if you have children doing this. Uh, you'd have to, you know have to watch them because of the hot plate that's what it is a hot plate and then where you want it to be more um, in-depth color let it sit there and then just pull it out and then you'd have the lighter on the tips and darker where you're letting it sit like that and it's amazing with the embossing powder that you don't get ah oh, I'm not kidding 
I'm addicted. I'm addicted to this. Wait till you see this finished. I can't wait to jump into the butterfly. I may leave this right now. Touch this. Uh, let's just add a little bit to the green. Undertones like on the edges. And leave it sit there a minute. Sit a second. Look at this. And I'm just going to see how it is like, look at, it looks like you did your shading and everything. And I'm just, exper I haven't touched these crayons, I haven't used this technique, and it's absolutely beautiful. Let's set that down for a second, I want to see something. Let's do silver, because pink and silver looks nice. So let's just see how this works. Look at it melt. And I'm going to get into the butterfly, and you are absolutely going to be head over heels. I love it when another crafter um, does made, made, does the work, basically, and then hands it over to you. You grab the torch, and you run with it. I will be doing tons of this. Look how quick this is. Grab the pink, melt that in the center, draw it out. Come on. Draw it out. This is way too cool. Look at this. It looks like, look it. It looks metallic. You have all of the fun of, I'm loving it. Okay, so let's set that aside. I'll make a card out of that. Let's hold that up to that card base and see how that looks. Gorgeous! I might put some more greens in there, but that is really sweet. Let's go on to our butterfly. Okay. All right, so what colors did I say? I would like to do this in... Hmm, purples for sure. Purples... Well, let's do the oranges. We'll do these two here. I want it to heat set a little bit, so just bring your heat plate over, grab the inside color which is going to be the orange, let it melt. You can feel it when it starts to melt. Oh. There we go. Melting. Just wonderful. And if you had a thinner base, like a thinner um, cardstock base, you know, tech, thinner, like, you know, poundage wise, spit it out, Carol, uh, it would be really cool. And because I have the black on here, obviously, you're going to have, let's melt that in there. Okay, so we have the Monarch. You don't even have to really do anything. It just does the work for you. It's amazing. I'm going to add some. I want to get into this orange and green and purple and red. Look at this. Let's try that right here. Make sure I'm on the plate and it's hot. There we go. Melting, melting. Oh. Turn your crayon over. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is fun, fun, fun. Okay, if you like the color, stick with it down here, which I do. There it is. Let me just, I'm going to pull that out. Look at this. That is sweet. And it looks like you put crystal effects on it. That's how gorgeous that is. Okay, let's move on to this side. And you can feel when it starts getting hot. There it is. I mean, the heating plate is not that hot. I wouldn't want to, like, uh, rest my hand on it for any amount of time, but I'm looking to see how far I went up here. Turn it around to get the other colors on there. This takes... You, it's doing the texturizing for you. It's blending itself out for you. 
and if you don't like it you can go over it like I'm going to come in here and just add a little bit of this color on the inside like that uh, I guess I should do down here with the red because you've got three shades right here all hot whoa that is beautiful I love finding a technique and then sticking with it so let's try the mauve mauve tomato tomato let's try this I'm just gonna do the mauve just on the outskirts a little bit because it's not really there it goes melting away there we go just on the outskirts you can go over and slide that other oh get on there you can feel where it's not melted or melting there we go melting away that's how long it takes this is awesome okay there we go and leave it on there I think I'll do like one side at a time that would have been better so let's try let's go deeper I'll do this blue hues see it there awesome Oh my, here's where the turquoise comes in. Look at it melt. Literally, if I hurry this up, and I'm not gabbing, and I'm going to turn it to the reds here, like this, and come up here on the pinks. Up, 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 up. And I'm going to fussy cut this so it's not going to matter to me if it goes out of the lines. I just want to show you this. Oh my. I think I I think like this is going to be a new thing with me. I want to come up on here. I want to deepen this right in here instead of the orange. I'm going to melt it and deepen it with the reds. And then you can just wipe it down there. Because of the blues, I'm bringing that in. And look at the texture on that. That will dry. You push that Crayola. Look at the, can you see the texture there? It's awesome. There goes my phone. And then let's go with uh, something I haven't used on the end. This looks gold, black, and red, and blue. Gold, black, red, and blue. Let's do the ends because it's nice and hot. And silver. You can see the silver there. Turn it around, and I am getting, what, oh, look at the red. Let's go with the red right there. There we are. Oh. There we are. That's kind of, I like that red, so I'm turning it over to get some of that red. It was right there. Look at the richness in there. Then you can go back if you see places where you want to brighten it up. Just brighten it up like that. And went, melt it more to get texture like right there. Look at this. Can you see that? I'm telling you, these, these I'm sold on this one. And then I'm going to do the tips with the yellow right here as it's melting. I want to add some of this yellow out of this triple crayon here. And I'm going to fussy cut, like I said. So just set it there. Get some of that yellow in there. And I guess I'll add a little bit right there. And you can go over top. This is like totally, totally awesome. Let's finish it really quick. So I'm not even going to look at the other side because really butterflies are unique in their color so I might just go like this turn it around to the yellow add texture right here and then where's that blue one that awesomely blue pink one and purple we'll bring that up I'm going to be playing with this all day turn it around blue 
keep turning get it on the heat side press down it'll come out okay and you've got three create three colors that you're working with right here three make sure it's on the plate because you're turning it it probably could be four okay I want to go on the red let's turn this let's get this red out there you go actually it's violet remember I'm going to fussy cut there we are let's get some of that yellow I might go right in and grab some of the bright yellow and do I care that I contaminate it into one another? No I'll just put it into the sharpener I think I like this other one that had that bright yellow. Look at this. If you had like a clown or balloons, um, this would absolutely. Pushing it up. I want some of that color up there. Look at this. This is sheer F U N fun. I'm loving it. Then I'm going to grab this because I know I don't have much time left in the pink. Like that. And we have a butterfly. I'm going to fussy cut it so I don't know why I'm worried all of a sudden. So there you have it. Um, if you want to break this up and add more texture up in here to break the color go for it you can make your own design there you go my friends is this remarkable or what there you have it and look at even if I took one of these Crayolas just the plain not these fancy fancies let's grab this bright yellow it's been sitting there let's see how they melt look at this beautiful wow these are fast Lindsay you're right these are faster than the other ones they must have and vibrant wowzers let's put that on there I want to take a bit right there I want to make some texture there you go you can't get any prettier than that Okay, so that's our butterfly and this crayon art. Let's do, set this back on here. And I want to do a pink, yellow, violet really fast on this one. There you go. I mean, I think I'd fussy cut this one. Look at it melt. That's done. I mean, can you believe it? And then what I would do is I would take a Crayola that has a bigger point on it and I would make some... Let me get my... I don't want to touch it because it is hot. And then just make your lines coming out with this like a flower. And there you have it, my friends. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm just playing while well, my time runs out. And how much 